what do we know about black holes? It might seem like we know a lot. Scientists have long figured out how black holes form, learned how to detect them, calculate their mass, and even rotation speed. With relative ease, we can observe what has been naturally formed around the black hole. Most significantly, the black hole's surroundings can say a lot about it. Today, we'll take a long journey through space and see the most spectacular effects created by the black holes known to date. Meet the top five most beautiful black holes. This is the name of a lenticular galaxy located 10 to 16 million light years from Earth. It was first discovered in 1826 by Scotsman James Dunlop who had already lived in Australia for a long time. The location was a lucky coincidence, as Centaurus A lies in the Centaurus constellation, which can only be observed in the southern hemisphere. What interests us is not the galaxy itself, but the black hole in its middle. The good news is that it's one of the closest black holes to the Milky Way and at the same time, one of the best studied ones. As usual, we can find a supermassive black hole right in the center of the galaxy. It weighs about 55 million solar masses. What's remarkable about its activity is that it absorbs matter and pushes out a relativistic jet. Following radio observations of the jet over the course of 10 years, astronomers have determined that the inner parts of the jet are moving approximately at half the speed of light. X-ray jets of Centaurus A are thousands of light years long, and radio jets are over a million light years long. Unfortunately, the human eye operates within a very narrow spectrum and it's impossible to see all the beauty that surrounds the black hole with the naked eye. But with the data obtained in different ranges of electromagnetic waves, we can still enjoy this stunning sight. Since the galaxy is highly luminous and has a relatively large angular size, it is an ideal target for amateur astronomical observations. A bright central bulge and a dark dust streak are visible even with binoculars. This is the hiding place of the supermassive black hole. Now, let's fly 10 times farther, about 100 million light years from Earth, to the NGC 4261 galaxy. This old elliptical galaxy was discovered by William Herschel back in 1784. But of course, he couldn't have imagined the ripple effect his discovery would have two centuries later. The galaxy is located in the Virgo constellation, in the eponymous supercluster, which is home to some unusual cosmic formations. Closely following the introduction of X-ray telescopes, two jets have been spotted emanating from the center of the galaxy. It didn't take scientists very long to confirm that its core was active. They even managed to look into its very heart, which hides a supermassive black hole weighing about 400 million solar masses. It is estimated that the galaxy is about 60,000 light years across and the jet pushed out by the black hole is about 88,000 light years. Not everyone knows an interesting tidbit about this galaxy. On January 1st, 2001, it became home to supernova SN2001A. Perhaps as a result of this event, another black hole appeared, but naturally it wasn't as massive. In the meantime, let's discover another distant frontier, over 2 billion light years away from Earth. 
In 1959, the British astrophysicists from the Cavendish Group discovered a radio source using the Cavendish Observatory's Cambridge Interferometer. This was the 348th object discovered in the study, and it turned out to be quite fascinating. 3C348 is a supergiant elliptical galaxy. A thorough analysis showed that the galaxy is over 1,000 times more massive than our Milky Way and is about 10 to the 15th power of the masses of the Sun. And the central black hole is almost 1,000 times more massive than the Sagittarius A-star black hole in the center of our Milky Way, which is about 4 billion solar masses. It is one of the largest black holes known to date. We still have a lot to learn about the galaxy itself, as well as the black hole in its center. At least we know about the galaxy's active nucleus. Also, there have been recorded jets of matter and powerful X-rays emanating from its center using different ranges of electromagnetic waves. The likely source of energy is the matter ejected perpendicular to the accretion disk of the central black hole. Despite lacking accurate information, we can bait our curiosity with incredibly spectacular images of the galaxy. In the photo, we see a multi-wave image from the Hubble Orbiting Telescope, both within and outside the visible spectrum. One can clearly see relativistic jets ejected by a giant black hole and turbulent eddies at their ends. It's time to continue our journey, and the next most interesting object is literally a stone's throw from NGC 4261. This is not just a black hole, but an incredibly powerful engine of a universal scale. At the same time, it is the brightest, deadliest, and one of the most insanely beautiful phenomena in the whole universe. The term quasar stands for quasi-stellar radio source. Such objects are classified as special phenomena. But actually, a quasar is nothing more than an active gigantic nucleus with a supermassive black hole in the center. Similar processes take place there, including the ejection of a relativistic jet. But this phenomenon is super large and luminous. This is precisely what sets quasars apart when compared to other galaxies. This quasar lies in the Virgo constellation, which is especially bright. It is considered the first astronomical object identified as a quasar. It has been extensively studied following its initial discovery in 1963. Earlier in 1959, the object was deemed an unidentified radio wave source. In addition to being one of the very first identified quasars, it is the closest and the brightest known quasar, being at an unimaginable 2.44 billion light years from Earth. Its great luminosity overshadows the entire galaxy with its hundreds of billions of stars. It's not easy to comprehend it, but the black hole spins the galactic core to such an extent that its light makes hundreds of billions of stars look dim. A telescope view of 3C273 on a starry night looks mesmerizing as it obscures other objects in the sky. There is nothing quite like that in this area of the sky. This quasar has a poignant story too. Dutch musician Arjun Anthony Lucassen dedicated his To the Quasar composition to it, which was included in the metal opera of the space theme. And finally, let's go twice as far to reach a distance of 6 billion light years from Earth. Much like the previous one, 
It is a dazzling bright quasar driven by a gigantic, supermassive black hole. If we happened to be nearby, we might have caught a completely different glimpse from what we see in the pictures obtained from the Earth's orbit. This black hole with a quasar lies in the crater constellation. Its discovery would stay unnoticed if it wasn't for the team of astronomers led by Rubens Rees from the University of Michigan, who found out something startling. It turns out that the black hole rotates at about half the speed of light, which is an inconceivable angular velocity. Scientists would have never been able to obtain such a high-quality image of such a distant object with modern technology if nature and physics weren't willing to uncover their secrets. We see a blended image of the orbiting Hubble and Chandra observatories. What made this image possible is not only the space telescopes, but also the very nature of this intermediate elliptical galaxy. It is much closer to us than the quasar. Its total gravitational field has created a gravitational lensing effect. The image of the quasar is enhanced and even magnified by four. In the image, the quasar is displayed in pink according to the Chandra Observatory data. A special natural and physical phenomenon has made it possible for us to see the black hole, even though there is just a lenticular galaxy in the center of this bright circle, and a black hole is hidden in the center of a quasar, spread along the edge of the galaxy. Every single black hole image published before the real radio image of M87 was an artistic interpretation, or simply a photoshopped picture. Here, the universe itself does not mind using its own amazing laws to create something spectacular. Our short journey has come to an end, but the era of space discoveries is in full swing, and astronomers will certainly excite us with even more stunning and detailed images of unusual space objects in the near future. Please, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so we can see how many space enthusiasts are out there.